By, by, by endoscopic spine surgery, and uh, the, the big question was how to, to learn this uh, the spine, uh, endoscopic spine surgery. And it was uh, like a new, new instrument, like a new woman who ju just married and uh, uh, she don't uh, know how to cook. So I decided to, to, to learn how to cook with, with the new instruments. Uh, and it was like a uh, some chopsticks uh, because uh, uh, I know many of our friends uh, they are very very able to use these chopsticks but uh, for us it's uh, very different so it was like to, to learn uh, to eat with chopsticks and uh, my, my big questions was how to learn faster this endoscopic spine surgery and in many years I understand that there is no way to learn fast read because there is many, many, many uh, issues to learn endoscopic anatomy, use uh, of uh, fluoroscope, uh, OR settings, preoperative planning. And I think the, the first uh, step of the surgery is the correct needle placement, the correct instrument placement for success because the optimal needle placement is the most crucial step of this procedure. Uh, this is a simple example of a transforaminal approach uh, and if we don't have a good uh, instrument placement, if we don't have a good needle placement, uh, who is crucial uh, step of the procedure, we will not have a success. So the mastery of the techniques is learning well along the spine to place correctly the instruments. By the same uh, way, we can go anywhere in the spine. We can go inside the canal, we can go to the posterior part uh, of the disc, to, to the nucleus or the uh, anterior part. And when we have a correct middle placement, we will be happy and we will uh, feel like a Julius Caesar, who is a big uh, commandant, who is a big victory, and a young surgeon who feel uh, successful, uh, really, it's it's a good sentiment. Uh, but sometimes we, we we are confused. Uh, we have some difficult patients with uh, many arthrosis, scoliosis, or some other uh, problems. So we lost our way. And when we lost our way, we don't know what to do. Uh, we don't have to forget that, uh, that we have a patient and we must uh, to have a strict uh, target, strict procedural approach. If no, we will go outside of our target. So the, for the patient safety, uh, learning very well along the spine to place correctly the needle and our instrument is crucial and essential. So for the safety and success, we need the knowledge of the radiology uh, anatomy, cross-sectional anatomy, and uh, we must uh, be strict adherence uh, to the procedural technique. <clears throat> for transforaminal approach, sure, we must now uh, the anatomy of intervertebral foramen who is the area of entry of endoscopic uh, spinal access, and especially the anatomy of the upper part, not only the lower part, but the upper part, uh, where we have some, uh, the nerve root and some vascular uh, tissue. So we need an action plan. Uh, we want to put the ball inside and we have to make some simple calculations. Uh, these calculations are simple, uh, like this uh, picture. But sometimes 
These calculations are very difficult for difficult patients, scoliosis, arthrosis, uh, mal uh, position of the patient. And we need uh, many, many, many uh, calculations. We need a good preoperative planning. So uh, like uh, Plato, he say, uh, we, we need to now geometry and mathematics for the preoperative planning. So there is some steps, basic steps uh, for every spinal procedure including also endoscopic spine surgery for all kinds of uh, approach, transforaminal, UBA, or stenoscopic. The first is the preoperative planning. We, we must, uh, we must uh, also analyze the, the placement of the hernia fragment uh, in the lateral and AP uh, ray view because we have all the MRI and CTs of the patients, but uh, during the procedure, we, we, we have face uh, to, to X-ray, to fluoroscopic view, so we, we must know where is exactly our pathology, our stenosis, or our, uh, our disc herniation. Uh, and we must know that the uh, cambis triangle can uh, sometimes must not be very secure also. There is many articles inside there is different types of uh, common triangle and this uh, door can be sometimes a small door so preoperative radiological analysis is very important so we must know where we want to go we we, we will select a transformal approach a uba approach inside out technique or we target the, the SAP for outside in technique. Step two is the position of the patient. Uh, the patient position is very important and this is the tool that I use sometimes to be sure that my patient is in correct verti uh, vertical position in the operating time and use of fluoroscopy uh, learn correctly to use of fluoroscopy is very essential for beginners uh, because if we don't use uh, if we don't center the fluoros uh, the, the view the, the patient uh, to the fluoroscope we, we will have big difficulty and I know that uh, like the surgeon the fluoroscopy technician also is very important this is a uh, teamwork and the work of the fluoroscopy technician is very important for to have a good uh, and easy procedure. Uh, a photograph and a fluoroscopy image are both two-dimensional pictures. So a shadow, we have a shadow like an X-ray. This shadow uh, must uh, show us uh, the correct ratio, the correct dimensions of our anatomy. A fluoroscopic image of a cylinder from the side is a rectangular image regardless the angle of the beam. But uh, by reviewing a series of images, we are able to mentally construct a three-dimensional picture of this cylinder. Our, uh, so we, we must uh, now use uh, uh, with all uh, and with different angle uh, fluoroscopy it's crucial and uh, AP and lateral and sometimes oblique view are different uh, uh, give us different information so different angles give us different points of view like uh, some artist or uh, even uh, some uh, toys so uh, this is a shadow, fluoroscopic image is a shadow, and we must have a correct shadow for uh, good needle placement, for good instrument uh, placement. So, like Mahatma Gandhi, he said, every fight is one between a uh, different angle of vision, illuminating the same truth. So, uh, it's crucial, it's very important for beginners to, to learn how to use fluoroscope for, uh, for a successful surgery. And uh, I use also, 
always a level specific AP and lateral view because the span has multiple curve and uh, an AP the weave of uh, L5 S1 is not uh, the same weave of uh, L3 L4 by the same angle. Uh, even uh, for the uh, end plate, the uh, superior end plate of sacrum and inferior end plate of L5, they don't have the same angle. So, uh, CN position on AP, uh, not only for to now. Uh, our uh, puncture uh, point uh, also during the procedure uh, for to know where uh, where I am exactly where is my where I is my uh, instruments where is my punch it's very important so we we must have also a lateral view a correct lateral view so step four is the determination of the entry point. Uh, for inside out technique or for outside in technique, we have different, uh, as you know, uh, targets. Uh, so uh, before needle insertion and cannula insertion, we must, uh, to the on inside the annulus, uh, we must have AP and lateral views. Uh, for outside in technique, we, we must uh, sure uh, it's a little bit more dif uh, difficult and a little bit more different than inside out uh, to, to be sure that we are on the tip of the SAP. Uh, L5S1 uh, for transformer approach is sometimes difficult, uh, as you know, and we have different solutions uh, for SAP resection or trans iliac approach. Uh, uh, and sometimes, depending on the degree of lumbosacral lordosis, the needle skin and T point uh, of L5-S1 uh, can be more cranial than for L5-S1. Same uh, issue for UBA also. So, uh, finally, we have to confirm with contrast solution uh, and uh, where we are. And when we start to, 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 to our procedure, uh, we must be sure that we are in, the, in our target. We don't have to be, for example, uh, anteriorly, if we make a trans, uh, sorry, inside out technique. For outside in also, we must be sure that we are on the key of the SAP, uh, like here, and sometimes in a, if we don't use uh, AP and lateral views at the same time, as you see, we can uh, make some mistakes and some wrong uh, position, mispositions. So I finish my presentation to my friends that uh, essential uh, here, before to start to a surgery is the anatomy, a correct patient position, and also use of fluoroscopy. Thank you so much.